This is Michiko and Allie, and we're out on another adventure. Um, it's not the PCT, although the PCT is not far away. No, it's just a few miles, right behind us. Well, um, today we are in Little Blair Valley, and this is my favorite spot in the Anthropogon Desert so far. And we also got my favorite camping place in the desert. And this morning we're on a hike. And we're calling it a hike because um, the road is made of gravel, Oops. as you can see, and it's not perfectly flat. So I've decided that's what I'm going to count is the difference between a hike and a walk. So <clears throat> I asked Allie if she'd be willing to talk about <clears throat> the little misadventure we had on this trip. <laughs> um, I was kind of in a hurry to leave, and I was like, oh, don't forget your hiking shoes. And, don't forget your uh, your camping chair because it was in my other car and you know so I I had something else in my hands and my water and I ran out the door and I was I was already half hour late and I know Ellie does not like late people she's always early so I run go over to Allie's house I'm loading up her stuff in the car like she makes me do and then uh, <laughs> I'm not gonna do it <laughs> <laughs> so so we get in the car. We drive, oh look, we drive out and Ellie says, do you mind if we stop and get something to eat on the way? I said, no, that's fine, we'll, we'll stop, we'll stop and you wanna stop eating Santa or So let's stop in Ramona. So we were gonna go to uh, Subway and it said they had a drive-through, but I got to the drive-through and there was no menu. And so I concluded that they were not open. And we confirmed that by driving around. Yep. We did not know there was another subway that was open that did not have a drive-through uh, further in town. So if you come to Ramona, there is a subway. So I said, why don't we go to the grocery store? And they usually have like, you know, like a deli or whatever, see where you can get sandwiches. So we go to Sid Brothers, and just so you know, they do have a deli, but they do not make you sandwiches. But pre -made. they have pre-made sandwiches, yes. Not a big selection. They're a little soggy at the end of the day, but we were happy enough to have them. Yep. So we got our sandwiches and we got um got a soda. Got some diet soda. And we got a oh I got some gummy bears. And Ellie got some ding dong. Because <laughs> she's a ding dong. <laughs> and you're really gonna think she's a ding dong after you hear this. <laughs> Me too, actually. So she got two ding dongs for the two ding dongs. And I think that was it. Oh no, we got some deviled eggs. Which were pretty good, actually. I don't usually like grocery store devil days. They're too rubbery or whatever. But So, <clears throat> you know, we sit in the car in the air conditioning. It's like 100 degrees, probably. What was it, like 530? 630? Yeah. About 630, so right? We were like 20 minutes eating in the car, which, which caused us to be, to get here. At dark. At dark, yeah. Yeah. Although that doesn't really have any relevance well, to the we story. So, but we couldn't see anything, so... Yeah. Open up the trunk, and I was going to go get my flashlight. No, that's not what happened. That's not what happened. Okay. She's not telling the story, right? Yes, I am. <clears throat> no, she's not. We, 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 meaning I started loading the car, and Ellie's setting up you know, the chair. I put up. I might have put up your chair. Yeah, thank you. Sir. So I put up the chairs. Ellie gets the ice chest because it is kind of heavy, and I do think she's a little stronger than me. And then, uh, let's see. So she's, she's looking for her flashlight, and she said, um, hey, me too, where'd you put the, Mimi, where'd you put the, uh, that crate with the, with the, with the stuff in it, with the food in it? And I said, I didn't put a crate in the car. <laughs> and Ellie goes, really? And I was like, nope. <laughs> she goes, well, that crate had all the food in it. <laughs> and I said, who? <laughs> and she, she goes, it also had the toilet paper and the trowel. And my flashlight. And a flashlight. Was it your flashlight or your headlamp? Both, actually. Oh, you both brought both? Yeah. Why do you bring both? Because we're in a car. Why not? All right, that's right. Well, I don't think that's the right attitude to have, actually, about car camping, but whatever. Okay, so then I say, oh, don't worry, Allie. I brought food. And then I go, wait a minute. <laughs> <laughs> and I go, hmm. I go, I got some bad news. I think I left the food sitting by the front door. <laughs> In the bear bag that I just bought from REI. <laughs> so I thought about it some more and I go, nope, we don't have any food. <laughs> well, that's not true because we had 
We had ding dongs for breakfast. We had ding dongs for breakfast. <laughs> ding dongs. Gummy bears. And we had gummy bears last night for a snack. And uh, <clears throat> and we did have margaritas. Yeah. Oh, we had beverages. So we had we had margaritas last night. That was super nice. And this morning, I opened my beautiful little. Eye. Oh, there's a bird. I opened my eyes, and Allie hands me an ice cold frappuccino. And I gotta tell you, that is what I like about car camping versus backpacking. Because yeah. in backpacking, nothing's really that cold. I guess maybe a stream. Yeah. Or, or at night when it's freezing outside. <laughs> but the, it was a beautiful night last night. Oh my gosh, Allie, wasn't it? It was great. She yeah. saw six shooting stars. I only saw one. But um, I was, I meditated. Saw like, I had this vision. It was super cool. Um, and we didn't even use tents. And we didn't even take drugs. <laughs> <laughs> no peyote this time. <laughs> this time. So, um, yeah, we didn't. We just lay down the ground. And I unfortunately selected a slightly uh, slanted area. <laughs> so I was sliding off my, uh, my uh, pad all night. But, you know, there, there wasn't a lot of really super. This is, here, I'll show you where we are. This is, a, this is Little Blair Valley. And this is a lake. A dry lake bed and it just it's it's not it's not huge it's kind of big but it's not it's big, I think. well but the camp the place where you can camp the road does not go all the way around here it just goes it goes um it goes like over there maybe oh i see it over there yeah and then if you if you come here if you make a left when you come in and you drive to the end of the road and it's what, a couple miles we'll see because we're walking it but um there's a camp spot at the end of the road and it's nice because you don't have people driving past you right and <clears throat> you do sometimes like especially like on a friday when you get here they come up to see your car and then they gotta turn around and go away but usually no one will come close even so that's I, my i think little Blair valley is, has less people than Blair valley it's harder to get here it's further yeah. drive because blair valley is right next door and you, it connect like you it's not connected but you kind of go through a little path to get there yeah. and there's bathrooms and stuff there too which well at the entrance to the park uh, to the area there's there is a it's a regular bathroom right like a real bathroom a pit, oh it's a pit, pit bathroom yeah. i didn't know that super clean super clean okay so what would my advice be it would be I guess if I if you're gonna camp in the desert, you cannot be a person that has to have a toilet because it just doesn't make sense. But don't fall. Don't fall? Oh, I can't. fell. There's cactus on the ground. Not where I was, but yeah, try. I I would say, Allie, that it would be good life advice in general to not fall. Don't you think? Yeah. <laughs> but I'm old. <laughs> no, I think I'm done. Even for my little girls, I tell them don't fall. So, okay, so our advice for you today is always, always say, now, do we have some food <laughs> before you leave? When you're shutting the trunk, you know, make sure you have the food. Because that's kind of an important part. It's called an idiot check. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> ID10T, as they say in the computer industry. It's an ID10T error. Uh, error. And what, what's our other advice? Uh, hike before it gets hot because it's yeah. not too bad right now but it's coming i can well, feel don't be it. afraid of the desert oh yeah the desert's um, well don't come here i told them my secret spot yeah you did. all right that was stupid <laughs> yeah don't come here this is my secret spot but um yeah come out and you know even in the summer because this is the summer like and it's if you come like kind of at, at dusk and uh the night is incredibly gorgeous it's a less than two hour drive from San Diego, and it's a nice drive. Most of it's super pretty. You could stop in Ramona for dinner. You could stop at Julian for dinner. Yeah. Um, it's a really kind of fun drive. It's kind of a little bit windy. Um, and I just think the desert is incredible. It's free. How about that? Yeah, that's All nice. you do is pay for parking, and if you don't bring food, <laughs> you're golden. Yeah. <laughs> we did bring water. Bring water. That's really important in the desert. And, uh, yeah. Lots of water. yeah. And uh, we, we did we did make note of the ranger's phone number that was posted on a sign. It's a new sign. I haven't been out here since uh, when was the last time? Probably it's probably like ninety. I think it was like ninety 
seven I came out here. This is the first time I've come to Little Blair Valley. Oh no, I came to Little Blair Valley in 2005 when I was pregnant. But um, I was, uh, it was at night only and just for one night. So anyway, um, we didn't see any scary animals. I didn't hear any coyotes either. No, just ants. Just ants. They're not too bad, they mm -mm. All right, well, so um, we're going to count this as a success because we're still alive. Oh, yeah. We didn't have to take any Valium. No, not this nope. time. <laughs> just a margarita. Um, and uh, happy hiking.